It was a busy morning at Brandon Docks. Thomas was dropping off some dock workers, but he was feeling sad. What's wrong, Thomas? It's Hero Cranky. He's gone back to his country, and he's been away for so long. Arr! Cheer up, matey! That wise old engine should be coming back someday. But Salty, the fat controller sent Hero back to his country because there were no spare parts for him at the steamworks. Well, why couldn't he just wait for the parts to arrive from his country? It's the fat controller's decision, Salty. Clarabelle, did you hear that low whistle sound? Yes, I did, Annie. Thomas, who's coming to the docks? I think it's... Hero! Ha 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 There you go! I told you he'd be back! Well, you've arrived earlier than we expected. Thank you, and hello, Thomas. It's been so long. How are you, my friends? We were all worried about you, Hero. Why didn't you wait at the steamworks for spare parts from your island to arrive? Because the fat controller thought it was best if he sent me back to my old railway so the workmen there can fix me. What about your friends? They missed me too. I wanted to go back to my railway, but the fat controller wanted me to stay and take goods trains to the mainland. I'm sure he could use other engines instead of you. But they're all too busy to help, Thomas. Will you two stop talking and get back to work? Yes, Cranky. Thomas and Hero were at Knapford, waiting for the Fat Controller to talk to them. Just then, a shiny silver propeller engine was approaching the junction, and Hero gasped. Hello, Hugo. What are you doing here on Sodor? I'm delighted to speak to the Fat Controller about something. Can I just see that engine who crashed this bridge on the mainland? Oh, you mean Hero? He's a master of the railway. The master of the railway? Why did he reverse out of the station just because I was calling? I'll have to talk to Hero about this. Thomas, Hugo, where is Hero? I need to have a word with him. I can go after him, sir. I'll bring you to the platform once you're done talking with Hugo's driver. Is Sir Topham had, or when can we start our meeting? Oh, Franz, um, uh, we'll go to my office right away. Excellent. Now, I need to have a discussion about your railway in the future. Hero was hiding inside Tidmouth sheds. All the engines were working, and he was the only engine in the shed. Just then, Thomas arrived to see what's wrong. Hero, what's the matter? Oh, Thomas, is that Hugo? His propeller is very dangerous. I must stay away from him. But why? Because an engine having a propeller is very illegal. I've never seen an engine with a propeller before. The only times I see one are rotor blades that helicopters use when they take off to the skies. Harold is the only helicopter in the whole of Sodor. How many helicopters are there in your home? There are thousands flying around my home. My friends say that they rescue people from mountain climbing. Don't worry, Hero. By the time you go to Natford, Hugo will be gone. I promise. By the time Thomas and Hero arrived at Natford, Hugo was already off to the mainland. That engine is really fast. He's probably faster than Gordon. He sure is. He's the fastest engine in the world. Ah, Hero, now that you're here, you're just the engine I need to talk to. Yes, sir. And sorry, sir. Hugo was waiting at a signal, but he didn't see Hero coming until he went by without saying hello. Uh, 
much to the ranch. Why is that big engine worried about me? He just spoke by without saying a single word. Hugo was confused why Hero wanted to stay away from him, as it went on for the rest of the week. One day, Hero was asked to take a slow goods train from Napford to Biggerstown. It was very heavy, and there were lots of trucks filled with various heavy equipment. Only Hero could handle such a heavy load. Alright, I must be careful when I'm pulling that many wagons, and it goes nothing. It was hard work. Hero tried his best to pull the heavy train up Gordon's Hill. As he reached the top, the truck started to push him down the other side. That's enough, you troublesome trucks. Then there was trouble! Whoa! Whoa! Oh no! I'm in trouble now! If I fall off that bridge, I'm doomed! Meanwhile, Hugo was on his way to Napford. He was just scrolling along the rails and went into a tunnel. By the time he went out, he saw what had happened to Hero. What has happened to you? No! Don't come any closer! I'm about to fall and I'll be scrapped! Scrapped? I must have let that happen to you. You're the master of the railway and everyone knows that. Go get help! Hurry! Yes, thank you, Hugo. How can we get you back on the rail so I can get going again? Hugo's driver phoned for help, and Ryan brought Judy and Jerome to put Hero back on the rails. There you go, Hero. You're back on track. You'll soon become master of the railway once more. You should go to the steamworks to be checked over. Yes, I will. I hope I can get repaired on this island. Well, that was lucky. It's a good thing I came to your rescue, Hero. Yes, you did, Hugo. You saved me, and you're my hero. Hugo couldn't believe his eyes. Hero had called him a hero. Well, thank you to you too, Hero. While Hero went to the steamworks, the fat controller sent Edward and Henry to take his long, heavy train to Vickerstown. As soon as Hero was fixed, he told the engines at Napford about Hugo rescuing him. That crash sounded like the time I landed on Philip's roof. Yes, James, it's a good thing no one was hurt. And it's also a good thing we both took Hero's train to figure out when he needed repairs. You're right, Edward. How damaged is your roof, Hugo? I would have had a bit of stain, but I did get and it's a good thing that I got checked over at the steamworks, and my buffer beam is the only thing that needed some repairs. Does this mean you still with us, Hero? Yes, Thomas. I mostly am, though I do miss my old railway too. And I as well, for I came from Germany, and there's my old little as well. <laughs> 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 <laughs>